Tonight, the latest developments in the mass shooting in Akron. Here is what we know right now. Still no suspects arrested in that shooting that happened early Sunday morning and left one dead and 24 others injured. The deceased victim has been identified as 27 year old Lateris Cook of Akron. We'll hear from his family in just a few moments. And the reward for information that leads to an arrest in the investigation remains at $22,500. We begin with senior crime and justice correspondent Lydia Spara at the Akron Police Department with more on the man shot and killed on Sunday. Lydia, I know you've been there all day. Tell us what you can. What you can. And you're right, I have been here all day in this. I've been here all weekend. This has been a tough, tough weekend for the city of Akron, even tougher for the family of that man who was killed in the shooting. And tonight they're trying to come to terms with their grief and exactly why this happened in the first place. Moments after gunshots went off early Sunday morning on Kelly and 8th Avenue. Okay, what's going on? A couple of people were shot out here. Somebody just came through shooting. The 911 calls to Akron police were frantically made. Lord, there's so many people that are shot out here. It's, so, it's multiple people that are shot. More than Please hurry. Shot. Okay. One of those shots, Lateris Cook. He was not even at that party, I don't think, 30, 45 minutes. So I think it was just a pop-up. Cook lost his life at the block party. He was only 27 years old. You can't fix a broken heart. You can put a Band-Aid on a lot of things, but you can't put it on a broken heart. That can't be fixed. There's a lot of broken hearts around here right now. His stepmother, Calandra McDowell, says her grief is beyond comprehension. He was the life of the party, the father of four, a man who loved his family deeply. They took a person that we all love and we cherish and we cared about. We can't see him anymore. Cook and 24 others were shot by a drive-by shooter. Two are critically injured. Dallas Cook says he and his brother, Lateris, were polar opposites yet. I'm used to being able to call my brother at least. Mm -hmm. I can't do that no more. Mm -hmm. I can't see my brother, can't hear his voice, nothing. So they took a huge part of me because mm -hmm. that, that was like my twin. The investigation into the shooting is ongoing. Police are asking the public to come forward with information. This family needs answers. I can't see my brother no more. That's not gonna ever give me no type of closure as they deal with an insurmountable grief. We should not uh, be burying him right now. Wow, just some tough days ahead for that family. Now, we mentioned at the top of the newscast that there's nearly $23,000 in reward money for any information leading to an arrest. And of course, Russ and Betsy, when you put out that much money, they're hoping someone, anyone, would come forward with any type of information so at least they can really get closer to this case and get any information to who started shooting on 24, 25 people. Certainly. All right. Lydia Spara in Akron. Thank you. Well, as you can imagine, the mass shooting was mentioned several times at tonight's Akron City Council meeting. A moment of silence was held at the beginning of the meeting. And then later, at least one council person stood up and thanked first responders for their quick response that saved lives on Sunday. Uh, my heart goes out to everybody in the community because it not just it doesn't just affect the folks that were in the area. This affects the entire region. Um, there have been people that have reached out to me from outside the state of Ohio, even outside of the country. Uh, Council members said they would be discussing additional crime safety plans for the summer in the weeks ahead. Governor DeWine also commented tonight on the Akron shootings. Horrible, horrible tragedy, and it's still not clear to me. Um, you know, we've talked to the, the authorities there. I called the, the mayor and offered him any help that we could we could give him. Still not clear to me exactly what what happened, and that's continues to un unfold. But it's a horrible, horrible tragedy.